What's up? Uh, my name is Troy Becker. I'm an actor. Uh, Paul Zimmer reached out to me and asked to record a video because he says he really, really looks like me. So we already covered a video on the channel that shows undeniable proof that Paul Zimmer is actually Troy Becker. But now we just want to give you some more details on crazy things this guy did, and some that we straight up cannot believe that he thought he would get away with. Hey guys, it's Mackenzie here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the top 10 shocking facts about Paul Zimmer you will not believe. Starting at number 10, his massive success on Musical.ly. I'm in my 20s, so I wasn't super up to date with Musical.ly's biggest stars. But I just have to start off by making sure that you guys know just how huge he was on the platform. In 2015, when he joined Musical.ly, he posted daily clips of himself dancing, acting out scenes with his fiance Jamie, and flashing his abs. Within 18 months, Zimmer's videos were regularly drawing in half a million views per clip, and he became one of the most popular users on the app. By the start of 2017, Zimmer had gained an audience of just under a million Instagram followers and a whopping 7 million on Musical.ly. These followers then transferred to TikTok when it was bought, giving Zimmer one of the largest followings on the world's fastest growing social media platform. So damn, gotta give the guy some props for that. Then on to number 9, the scandal erupts. So after he was considered a success on the platform, he completely squandered it when he got into a huge scandal. So the lowdown is that he started using Musical.ly's sister app called Lively, which is a platform used to live stream with fans for Musical.ly. On Lively, Zimmer was soliciting gifts in the form of stickers that fans could buy and send to their favorite stars, which transferred into cash value. And in exchange for these stickers, Zimmer promised favors such as shoutouts and videos, sharing their videos on his page, and sending them personalized DMs thanking them for their donation. At the time, this was a relatively normal practice that takes literally no effort for influencers to do. But Zimmer rapidly became Musical.ly's most talked about star when hundreds of users complained that he had not honored the promises he'd made to secure these gifts. So the guy was getting tons of money from his young fans and literally could not do the bare minimum to shout them out in a video or send them a simple DM. Some people, am I right? Sliding on into number eight, trending Twitter hashtag. So after all the outrage against Zimmer on Lively, it was natural for fans to keep posting their outrage onto other platforms, eventually landing onto Twitter. The hashtag ban Paul Zimmer started to trend in the US where people were talking about why the star deserved to be banned off Musical.ly and Lively for his shady behaviors. For number seven, it disappeared for two years. So after all the backlash made Zimmer wipe his channels in order to remove himself from the social media landscape, he surprisingly stayed off for two years. Yeah, that's right, Paul and his fiance Jamie Rose, who was often in his videos at the time, also disappeared from social media at around the same time. But honestly, who can really blame them? By getting off social media and giving his fans what they wanted, both parties could hopefully cool off in peace. Now on to number six, the acting class. After he'd been off social media for years, Paul was seen out again in an Instagram post by The Heller Approach acting class in LA. Which should be no problem, right? He's finally moving on with his life and trying another career path that doesn't have to do with social media. But the sketchiness of the post came when one of the hashtags in the photo said, hashtag Paul Zimmer, to indicate that he was in the photo. But then was changed shortly after to hashtag Troy Becker. He even made a promo video for the studio where he flat out called himself Troy Becker in the intro. But again, plenty of actors use stage names, so it's not really too crazy that he would change his name. However, the story does not end there. Why did you think it did? Okay, halfway through at number five, his first post back. So as I told you before, Paul deleted all his posts on social media accounts for two years after his scandal. So it was quite a shock when he made his first official post back. The weirder part was the post itself. So after the acting classes, people assumed that he was slowly coming back, but would be using the stage name Troy for acting. Ah, <laughs> nope. He came back with a post of a side-by-side -side picture of Paul beside Troy, trying to convince everyone that they were two different people. The post read, This actor at Troy Becker IG Kid literally looks like a younger, sexier version of me. Ugh. I don't even use social media anymore, but I had to post this, ha ha ha. And if you follow the link to Troy's Insta, it's a sparse account that seems like it was just made. Also, calling himself sexier, that's just, that's so weird. <laughs> and at number four, trying to promote Troy. So after all of this, fans were confused, but Paul did not stop there. He kept posting videos and photos of Troy where he pretended to be him. He even posted a video of Troy on Paul's TikTok where he acts like a confused Troy doesn't know anything about social media. Also claiming that he doesn't know what TikTok is. So let me get this straight, Paul is trying to convince people that a 16 year old kid would not know what TikTok is? Freaking hysterical. On to number three, never commented on the claims. 
One of the most shocking things about this situation is the fact that Paul Zimmer never denied the claims that he was faking. After being accused on his Instagram and Twitter of lying to everyone and faking Troy, which we all know he did, he actually never came out denying or even commenting at all on the speculation. I guess he thought it would just blow over something. <laughs> Sadly for him, it didn't. Moving on into number two giving his accounts away to Troy. So after randomly coming across his doppelganger, Paul did the unthinkable and decided to give his accounts away to Troy Becker. Yeah, that's right, Paul decided to give away all his success and hard work to someone just because they looked like him. To summarize the post, Paul thanked his fan for their support, but says that he no longer wants to be an entertainer and he's gonna be giving his accounts away to Troy aka him, also stating that this Troy kid is 16. So now Paul is trying to be someone else who is almost 10 years younger than him. And he doesn't think that anyone will find it odd that he's literally giving away all his hard work for nothing to someone who he hardly knows. I think we can agree that most influencers wouldn't even give their own social media to their close friends, let alone a freaking stranger. And finally, number one, he legally changed his name. So I guess his final attempt to put the name confusion to rest was when Paul decided to legally change his name to Troy Becker. In the Superior Court of California in Los Angeles, Paul Joseph Gatowski, which multiple sources confirmed to Insider has been Paul Zimmer's legal name, successfully changed his name to Troy Becker in March 19th of 2019, according to court records. So he took his faking to the point of no return here by legally solidifying that this is now his name. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today on IO. I also read some comments on my first video that you guys were trying to give me some nicknames. I liked a few, but I wanna see if you guys have any more. So comment down below what shocked you the most about the video and what you think my nickname should be on the channel. Heard a lot of food ones, I don't know. Give me your most creative ones. Bye guys.